Hey guys, Josh from Sportitude today coming at you with a comparison shoe review. So in the past we've done shoe reviews where we talk about the features of one specific shoe and whether it's right for you. Uh, today we thought it would uh, be quite beneficial for you guys at home to actually sit there and, and maybe make an assessment call on what um, specifically you could use between maybe three comparative models from Asics, Mizuno and Brooks. So um, what I've got in front of me here, and um, I hope you can see with the camera, but I've got uh, an Asics GT 2000 version 6. I've got the Mizuno Wave Inspire 14 and then the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 18 just here. So um, all uh, relatively new shoes in the range early 2018 and all specifically designed for that mid to high mileage running, sort of more tilted towards a high mileage running category. And the key feature between these three shoes is we're looking at a foot type that pronates and rolls in. So again, at home, I've done this in previous videos, if you're not sure what that means, I hold my little foot model up through here. So essentially it's a foot type that does collapse through that arch through mid stance phase. So if you're a heel strike and you come through to mid stance and your foot does collapse ever so slightly, or I'll swing it around this way. So again, heel strike, mid stance, and your foot does rotate in and collapse in that arch, um, you could consider these three shoes. Now, um, their arches, uh, arch support part of me is slightly different in each shoe, but I'll talk about those technical features in two ticks. And obviously being three different brands, you're looking at three different cushioning systems as well. Um, also what I would like to bring to your attention at home is what width they all come in, because it's obviously really important to get the right width on your foot. And I stand by this statement, if a brand isn't making widths, I firmly believe they don't really care. So. Um, there is so much engineering and so much competition out there in the footwear world, the running footwear world, that if a brand isn't committed to making widths to make um, obviously their running shoes more accessible to runners, I, I don't believe it's um, the right sort of path to take. You, you've got to um, you know, put your money where your mouth is, I suppose, and, and offer your engineering to a wide variety of runners, and obviously that comes in different widths. So um, that's a debate for another day, I won't get too caught up on that. So first, um, I'd like to touch on is the one right in front of me, the Mizuno Wave Inspire. Now here, um, I'm not gonna dive in too deeply. I have done a previous review on the Wave Inspire, which will add um, a link in this video below. Um, and the same thing with the Brooks Adrenaline and the GT2000 version six. So I've done a review individually on these shoes, which is a little bit longer. Um, so if you want a bit more in-depth detail, just hit the uh, link in this video below and we'll take you right through. Um, so what we've got here is we've got uh, three different shoes. So I'll grab the Adrenaline and the Inspire first. So on the medial side through here where the arch support kicks in, you've got uh, Brooks using a dual density foam on this medial side. And then what Mizuno do, and they're quite clever about it, they use a wave plate um, on this medial side through here. So you can see how it's um, encapsulated through that midsole and that medial um, bracket through there. So what um, Mizuno do, and they hang their hat on, is they don't use dual density foam, because dual density foam is a slightly heavier compound. And also, depending on the run at, we've had um, feedback over the years that dual density foam can cause a little bit of irritation. So if you're pronating on that platform, it can cause a little bit of friction. Friction equals blisters. Um, look, that's we're talking about the minority there. So um, I myself have used Adrenaline, I've used GTs, and being dual density arch support, I didn't get any blisters at all, but some people do. Um, so that is the arch support category through here between the two. So one thing which I'll point out is their arch support kicks in a little bit earlier. So as soon as your foot comes down on the heel strike zone, that arch support does kick in. So Brooks um, sort of support, see where my finger is and that little dark foam is through there, that's where the support starts. And just through there on the inside of my finger, that's where the arch support finishes. Now with Mizuno, the arch support kicks in roughly where my finger is there. and doesn't go quite as far as the uh, Brooks Adrenaline. It sort of finishes roughly on the inside of my finger through here. So that wave plate, as you can see on that medial side. So that's the difference between the two there. So the outer ports and obviously where they sit inside um, the chute in your gait cycle. So when we're looking at the GT2000, however, um, this little guy here, and they use Duna Dynamic Duo Max. Now, I mean, shoes gone by in the past. Uh, ASICs have used a grey density, dual density foam, which is quite easy to identify, you know where the support sits. Um, however, I need to look rather closely here because they've made a cosmetic decision to make it uh, the same colour the whole way around, which I think looks quite nice. So if I go here on the inside of my finger and then the inside of my finger through here, that's where their arch support sits. So it's a little bit later than the Adrenaline and the Inspire. So as soon as your foot comes down, and if you're an early heel strike or you pronate early in the heel strike zone, I'd consider these two. If you're only more of a mid starts pronator, then you can look at the GT2000. Um, not saying you can't look at these two if you're a mid starts pronator, because they'll certainly cater for that. But if you're early heel strike zone 
pronating support. So again, I'll try my best to show you in my diagram. So just, if your foot comes down early and you have that tendency to start to pronate early in your strike zone before you get the mid starts, then adrenaline and Inspire is the way to go. If you're more of a mid starts pronator where you get a bit of medial rotation, then the GT2000 is probably the shoe you should consider. So um, that's how the arch support works in all of these shoes. Now the cushioning systems they all use, we're looking at dual cushioning for the GT2000, so you've got a heel pod and a forefoot pod. Oops. And then Brooks use a, a sort of a, a, a silicon compound which they sprinkle through their EVA and they call it DNA cushioning. So it's a consistent feel underneath the foot, um, which I, I personally like. And then Mizuno use, not only do they use a wave plate to absorb some of that shock and keep the shoe nice and responsive, they use a soft foam which they flag as Euphoric X. So um, that's their absorbent absorbing part of the uh, cushioning system that they use. A um, couple of features that I'll talk about um, in the shoes before we wrap this up. You've got a really deep heel counter with Mizuno, so a nice stable heel counter at the back. GT2000, the new version 6, they've increased the depth of the heel counter from the previous model, which has been great. And the Brooks Adrenaline, the heel counter's a little bit lower, however, they've got quite a considerable amount of padding or foam on the inside, um, which gives you a nice secure fit on the back of your foot. Um, if you're at home and you're sitting there and you're worried about maybe wearing a hole in the back, which is every now and then we get a few people come back into the shop that show us that they've worn some holes. Um, look, I'm not gonna say you're not gonna do it in any of the shoes, however, we get a less return rate with Brooks and Mizuno with that feature at the back through there. ASICs, I think, have identified it, and which is good because it's been going on for about 10 years. Um, sorry guys at ASICs, but um, the GT2000, we haven't seen um, any inkling that we're gonna get any holes through there. So the foam they're using, the lining they're using must be a little bit uh, different than previous models and it's making it a bit stronger. Widths on the shoes. So if we're talking about widths on the shoes, we've got here, now in front of me I've got the ladies. So I should have talked about that earlier. You've got the ladies um, models here. So the widths on offer, you've got the GT2000 comes in a 2A, narrow, a B, a D and a 2E. So you've got poor widths in that little guy. In the Ladies Wave Inspire, we've got three widths. A 2A, which is narrow, a B standard, and a D. And then the Brooks Adrenaline, much like your GT, four widths. Narrow 2A, B, D, and 2E. Now that's the Ladies covering. Now the Men's, on the other hand, you've got four widths in the Adrenaline, you've got a B, which is narrow, a D, a 2E, and a 4E. So four widths from Men's. The Inspire only comes in two, which is a standard D and a 2E. And the GT2000 men's comes in a D, which is standard 2E and a 4E. So um, they've obviously committed to width, which is great. Um, in terms of the actual shoes and how I rate them, I'm not going to do that because what I like at home is probably different than what you like. Um, however, I um, had some great feedback. I, I like the Inspire because it's a little bit lighter. I like the Adrenaline because it was consistent in the cushioning system. And I liked the GT2000 because it was softer. So um, you can sit here and talk about the pros and cons of each until the cows come home. However, I'm just hopefully giving you some information to um, maybe make your shoe selection a little bit more, I suppose, educated. When you're considering one, you should consider the other two. So um, there you have it, guys. That's my little comparative shoe review today. Hopefully, it's given you some information at home that will make your next shoe choice a little bit easier. Um, any questions, comment on the video below. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and be the first to get any information like this. And um, yeah, we'll look forward to seeing you next time. Happy running.